my name is Asa. Nice to meet you, brother. You so have you heard this before? Father John. Oh, downtown, you heard us, right? Okay, so what did you learn from hearing us? What tribe is that? I just want to make sure you know. You say you Judah? All oh, praises. So when knowing that, what do you have to do? Deuteronomy 10. So we're going to tell you what you got to do since you know that you're from the tribe of Judah, from the children of Israel. Look on the sign onto your right. See it right there? See tribe of Judah, right? That's you. All right, go ahead. You too, sis. It's for you too. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. And now, Israel. So now, Arat. And what's your name, sis? Renee. So now, Arat and Renee. Read. And now. Israel, because y'all are Israel, y'all descend from the nation of Israel, prince having power with God. But if you call yourself black, you call yourself African American, you're taking away that heritage, which God said that will happen to the children of Israel for disobeying His commandments. Like today is buying, we can't buy and sell on the Sabbath. So if we go into Big Daddy's and buy that chicken salad or buy, you know what I'm saying? That's breaking the Sabbath. Read. What does the Lord thy God require of thee? So God is saying, what is required of you? Y'all went to school, correct? College? No college? You went to college, right? Don't you have to take required classes to go into the next the next step, right? So God is saying, what's required? You have to take these steps in order to get somewhere else. Read. But to fear the Lord thy God. So one of the requirements to fear God, fear his judgments. Because if we don't follow him, he will do what to us? He'll do what? Turn his back on us. And then when he turns his back on us, what happens to us? We don't get accepted in heaven. But what? But also what happens to us right now? Because he turned his back on us. He turned his back on us right now. Because so what happened to uh, uh, the brother Floyd? He got killed. So we get we'll get put to death or we'll get curses put upon us. A curse will be that our enemies will reign over us for uh, not following God. Go ahead. To walk in all his way. To walk is what kind of word? Is it a noun? Is it a verb? It's an action word. Verb, right? So to walk, because y'all walked from here to there, right? So it requires for you to do something. You can't just say, oh, I want I want to clean my house, but I don't do nothing. It just and it just magically uh, gets clean, right? You got to actually clean it. Read. To serve the Lord thy God. To serve. To serve somebody means you are serving to God. So whatever he wants. So if you look at it like when you go to a restaurant, you have a waiter, which is your servant for the food, correct? So you want them, they're going to bring you your food. They are serving what you want. So God wants from us is to keep his commandments. So to serve him, I got to do what he tells me to do. Just like that waiter, you tell him, hey, I want some water, they go get it. So God is saying, wear fringes on your clothes. Okay, yes, Lord, I'm going to do it. Keep the Sabbath day holy. Yes, Lord, I'm going to do it. Right. For sisters, I got to wear a dress. Yes, Lord, I'm going to do it. Right. Read. To serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart. With all your mind. Your heart is your mind according to the Bible. Read. And with all thy soul. With all your soul. That's your spirit. Read. To keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes which I command thee this day. So y'all are getting commanded today to keep that. To keep the commandments of God. That is the requirement since you know that you're Israel. So now what commandments that you. What commandments do you know about? Okay, so those are those are two commandments in the big ten commandments, right? So in those ten, you got keep the Sabbath day holy, no buying, no selling, no cooking today, no working. So we're gonna get that for the Sabbath. All right, Nehemiah. This is the book of Nehemiah, chapter 10 and verse 31. And if the people of the land bring wear or any victuals on the Sabbath day. So the people of the land are the other nations. So if the other nation, because who owns Big Daddy's? Uh, another nation, right? I think it's Vietnamese or something, right? So the other, so it said, read the part again. 
And if the people of the land bring where or any victuals on the seventh day, so the people of the land of the other nations, so if they bring where products to sell or victuals or is food, what? On the Sabbath day, so if they bring products and food on the Sabbath day, today is the Sabbath day, and they are open to sell to our people, read, to sell, that we would not buy it of them. No, we, we would buy it from them. That we would not buy it of them. No, but you don't understand, I'm hungry, they chicken salad go hard. That we would not buy it of them. We would not buy it from them when? On the Sabbath on the sabbath so no matter how much uh uh what's the word no matter how hungry i am that i need to go and buy it i shouldn't go and buy it because i would have prepared myself for the sabbath day because in the bible it says you got to prepare for the sabbath day because god wants us to have action he's not just say oh here here's this commandment and you just find out for yourself no he gives us instructions he gives us step by step on how to do it. It's not that hard. You got that? Yeah. So he gives us instructions on how to prepare ourselves for the coming day of not buying and not selling, not working. Because he said you got six days to do all your work. Go ahead. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 16, verse 23. And he said unto them, this is that which the Lord hath said. Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath. So this is in Exodus. So this is before the Sabbath approach. So this say say it's on Friday. So yesterday was Friday, correct? So he's saying on Friday. So when it's Friday, you're gonna get ready for the Sabbath. You're gonna prepare yourself. Read unto the Lord. Bake that which you will bake today. So bake what you're gonna bake on the prep day, which is before the Sabbath, and see. That, with, that you will see. So boil what you're going to boil. So if you want some hard boiled eggs, you make it before the Sabbath. If you want some chicken, bake it before the Sabbath. Or fry it before the Sabbath. And then you'll just have to eat cold food. Y'all ate cold food before, right? Ain't nothing wrong with that. It's cold. But is it you ate cereal? Cereal's cold? A sandwich is cold? Right? Noodles? You ate cold, cold pizza? It ain't... It, it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna hurt you, right? Go ahead. And that which remaineth over, lay up for you to be kept until the morning. So you hear that? Said lay. So whatever you got, lay it up for tomorrow. Lay it for the next day in the morning, so you have food because it said don't buy, don't cook on that day. Asap. Yes, sir. Bro, come on. We just telling you, man. Look. But you got that flyer, you got the address. So you remember, Christ is what? What color is Christ? Red, they said. He red? What color is Christ, sis? Give me that right quick before y'all leave. I'm gonna give you this last one. You got it right there. Because you gotta understand. Let's get that, go ahead. 14. This is the book of Revelation, chapter one and verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. He had white woolly hair. Christ had white woolly hair. Who has woolly hair on this earth? I see my brother Rock. You have woolly hair. My sisters, y'all got beautiful woolly hair. So y'all don't need to look after the oppressor and want that straight hair. You have God's hair. Free. As white. As snow, as white as snow, fully white. I got a little bit of white, but his is white. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Because Christ drunk wine in moderation. He didn't get drunk. Read. And his feet like a fine brass. What color is brass, a rock? Brown. Brown. So it said Christ's feet look like what? Brown. They were brown. 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 As if they burned in a furnace. If you burn that brown, what color is it? Black. black. Christ is a black man according to the Bible. Give me Daniels. Let me tell you, sis, because you I told you that you have God hair. Your brother has God hair. We have God's hair. Give me uh, his hair. Pure, the pure wool. Daniels. So Christ was black. Christ is a black man. And I said that our people have God hair. My sisters, y'all have God hair. Read. This is the book of Daniel chapter 7 and verse 9. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit. The 
ancient of days is God. He was before time. He created time. He is the ancient of days. Read. Whose garment was white as snow. God has on a garment as white as snow. Read. And the hair of his head like the pure wool. God's hair was like what? The pure wool. The pure wool. God, almighty God, the most high God had on pure wool. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.